Hey guys, Wes here from BlueFX. Today, we're gonna to be diving into a yet another way to make a really cool explainer video for your business, really cool and easy way in order to do it. So while we have talked about how to make a video explainer in programs such as After Effects, Premiere Pro, and you know uh, PowerPoint, today we're going to be talking about how to do it in a completely free to download program called HitFilm Express. Now, for those of you who don't know, HitFilm Express is a completely, and I mean really completely free to download multi-track editor made by the company called FX Home. Now, when I say completely free to download, I mean you go onto the website, you click download, and you download it. You don't have to put in payment information. You don't have to sign up for anything. You can click no and just download the complete program completely for free you have access to a full multi-track editor as well as a compositor with a whole bunch of effects built in completely for free. It's kind of like Premiere Pro and After Effects in one package for free. If you're thinking to yourself, how did I not know about something so great before? Well, thank me in the comments. I'll be there to say you're welcome. So we have the editing tool and now we need assets in order to make a business explainer video inside of that editing tool. And for that, we're gonna be using BlueFX's business explainer pack that you can find linked down below. Now this explainer pack is one of our best ones as it contains hand-drawn avatars, animated GIF clip art symbols and icons for everything you need, including appliances, sales, and more. These are all really high quality, pre-animated drag and drop files that work in any program, including the one we're working in today, which is HitFilm Express. And as I said, you can find the link down below. So these files are really easy to use I'm going to be dragging them just into HitFilm Express and then importing them into the timeline just as we would in Premiere Pro or After Effects. It's really easy to use. You obviously are free to use any assets that you want, but I do heavily and highly recommend these ones as they're ridiculously high quality and they're really original. Things you normally find on Google and stuff, most people are using them. This is original, really cool and affordable. Check it out below. But without further ado, let's jump into HitFilm Express and make this a really cool and easy animation and I'll show you guys just how cool HitFilm Express is. But also how cool these assets are and how you can really use them together to make a really cool video explainer. Let's go. Right, so here we are in HitFilm Express. This is the latest version. As I said, you can download this completely free. I'm sure there'll be a link in the description. And so in order to get started by creating an explainer video, we can use something called the editor tab here, which is kind of like your normal editing tab in Premiere Pro or we can create a composite shot and use a more layered or stacked approach like we have in, for example, After Effects. So I prefer to create things in the compositing side of things, especially when we're doing something like um, an explainer video, which we'll be focusing on each slide or each screen specifically. And that way I have a lot more versatility and I you know, won't really be working with audio right now. We'll mainly be focusing on visuals and for that, let's create a composite shot. So I'll click on new and then we'll create a composite shot and we'll name this explainer shot one for the first shot and uh, 30 seconds, that's good. It'll only render the seconds that I have actually used in the actual shot. Let's click okay. And boom, we now have a composite shot which is to work just like After Effects. And so in order to start, I am gonna need some assets. But first, if we look at the PowerPoint tutorial or the PowerPoint pack from BlueFX, we can see that a lot of the screens have a nice gradiented background, which is better than this, this plain dark black background that's blank with nothing on it. So let's create a gradient background. So for that, what I'm gonna do is first click on new layer over here and click create, uh, create a plane. Now, plane is basically like a solid. I'm referencing After Effects a lot and using terms from there because most people understand how to work with After Effects and it's very, very similar, almost exactly the same, just the names are different. So for example, this is a plane, let's create it. This is just a solid uh, color and we can name this BG for background and we can keep it on white, that doesn't matter. We'll change the color now. And over here in the effects tab, I'm gonna search for the gradient effect. Gradient, gradient. Gradient. And there we have color gradient, full gradient, radian, radial gradient, or a four point color gradient. So what I'm gonna do is use the radial gradient. And as we can see, we have a pretty cool little radial ball in the middle. And then in the controls panel, I can adjust all of the different settings over here. The elliptical deformation, I can stitch it out a bit. I can do the rotation. I can change the blend mode to normal, add, but obviously I'll just leave it on none. And then in the inner radius, we can extend this out, you can see, uh, as well as the outer radius. 
And just by doing that, we automatically have a nice gradiented background. Obviously, you can change the color of the outer side. So if I want to have something like red, it changes it to red. And we have a nice white center, especially because a lot of the assets that I'm going to be using are black. Um, it like this looks nice on a white background. So let's just extend this a bit. So we have just the, the edges and I'm actually going to keep it at a dark blue. I like that type of look. Okay, with our background done, let's now use some assets. So the core of a good explainer video um, is good solid assets. Not only should they be HD and like, you know, very friendly looking and very sort of quote unquote approachable, but they should also be versatile as in they should be able to be just dragged and dropped into your uh, software. So what we're going to be using is the business explainer package version 2.1 film blue effects. So if you download this, you purchase this and you open it up, you'll find multiple different folders, right? You'll find an icon list as well as all of the different icons in GIF format, MOV format, as well as PNG. So PNG obviously are just still images of all of these different um, assets and obviously we have various different categories over here but for this i'm going to be using the mov since i like that they are actually animated and so let's think about our story for example here let's talk about a guy who needs to make an explainer video so if we go over here we can see lots of different things over here so for example let's pick our main character in the avatars we have different avatars here and i like that you have a nice view and so if i click over here we can see an avatar who is someone that looks a little bit like me um, I would say maybe this one or this one. This one looks really cool. Um, <laughs> let's, let's use this one because it looks cool and I'll, I'll assume I look like that. But you can see there's multiple different skin tones, variations. We have a uh, <laughs> Heisenberg looking one over here. But let's use this one. I'm just going to click it, hold it, drag it and go over here into hit film and then just drop it into hit film. And I can just drag it straight into my timeline and automatically it works. And actually there's even sound included in this, which I don't know if you can hear right now, but it's it's animated in a really cool way. And within seconds, I've created an animate, uh, a nice gradiented background as well as an avatar. And so let's scale up this avatar. I mean, not the, not the background, let's scale up the avatar. By clicking on the avatar file, we can go into the controls panel and we can increase the scale over here and we can move him over here. And the nice thing about this is, let's actually make it a bit smaller, 120. The nice thing about this is that I don't even have to animate it um, because it's pre-animated and that's really cool. Um, so we have this animated over here. Then what I wanna have is some text pop up that says, need an explainer video, question mark. Let's highlight the text and change it to a more nice looking font, not this ugly one. Um, what can I use? Blacklisted, no, it's a bit too serious. Um, block letters, let's increase the size. And I'm also going to center it. Hitfilm has a lot of text tools, which is really good. You can underline it, you can strike through, um, you know, super scripted. Uh, let's just center this and then we can make it go over here and let's move our avatar as you can see i'm just playing around with it um does this really make sense probably not but um we have lots of things to choose from in the next slide so over here obviously we have our text so let's let's move the text a bit we have our guy pop up and about here i want my text to start popping up so to animate it we can use keyframes so making sure that my text starts at the point that i wanted to which let's say halfway through here we can let this text start there then let's go into controls and let's click on the keyframe button for scale and make the scale zero, right? Then let's skip forward one, two, three, four frames and let's make the scale um, about 20% bigger than what we want the final amount to be. So let's say 120. Then I'll skip forward two more frames and I'll make it back to the final amount. And then finally, let's uh, check what I did. As you can see, it does a bit of a popping motion because it goes up but too big and then goes down. And to make this look even cooler, we can hit over here and turn on motion blur. And there we have our text. Maybe actually, you know what? Let's go into the transform and let's actually scoop, scoot this up a bit one. So it's a bit faster. And now if we have a bit of a RAM preview, we can see that we've created something that's the first slide of our explainer video really quickly. So if you wanna continue and make another one, you can actually have a new composite shot or what you can do is you can play through and let's say I wanted to stop 
here at around maybe two seconds. Then we can use the slice tool and just cut every single file and then just delete all of them. Actually, you know what? Let's extend our background so it goes further. And so let's say we start the new, the new slide or the new uh, part of the presentation and explain a video over here. Okay, let's go back in and let's check what we're gonna use. MOV, money currency, documents, hands, buildings, arrows, lines, plants, sales, speech, science, so many different things. So let's just do one more shot as an example here. I wanna use this arrow icon, so let's drag it in the same way into hit film. And let's start it on our next section. We can start it over here. We can drag it there. And here we have this animated cool little thing. So we can have it over here. And then what we can say is we can have a, another text bubble pop up. And over here, let's say, want to boost sales? Question mark, who doesn't want to boost sales? Obviously, let's have that go here. Obviously, let's move to about here. And then we can have our text start there. Let's do the same animation, but this time let's use something like position. So. We can first have the position of the text off screen. We can go forward one, two, three frames and push it in the position where it's gonna be a bit ahead. Then let's go back forward one, two frames and then we can have it in its final position. Turn on motion blur and immediately we have something like that. And then immediately after that, let's animate this actual icon itself. So over, over here, let's have the icon itself the position, we we'll click on keyframing, we'll move forward one, two, three, four frames, and we'll drag it up, turn on the motion blur, and we can see what happens. And the minute this goes up, let's add a new one in there. So let's go back in, and we can use something for sales. Uh, let's go into hit film, drag it in, put it over there, and we can put it there. And then let's just increase that scale. and move it there and let it start after that comes in. So about maybe there. And immediately, let's take a look at what we just done. Need an explainer video. Want to boost sales. And all of these actually have sounds, which is really cool as well. And so you see the versatility of this pack. I mean, you have dozens of different things in here, you know, and they're all animated, especially in this MOV file. There's money currency, there's documents, there's websites. If you look and look at the websites, I mean, we have different icons. You can have these embedded on your actual website themselves. You have hands, um, you know, doing different things, holding a cell phone. So basically whatever business you have, whatever project you're working on, you will find something in these files. I mean, there's so, so many different versions of it. You have PNG icons. So if you want to fit it to your brand, you can have these on your website. You can have these in your descriptions. You have GIF files if you want to use them as well. Obviously also animated. Um, and there's just so much you can do also with adding them in here and just, you know, playing around to create a really unique looking explainer video. And there you have it. That's how you make a really cool business video explainer in HitFilm Express really easily. And actually, if you check the time really quickly, so I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you want to check out those assets that I did mention before, they are linked down below in the description. I'd highly check them out. I recommend checking them out to you. Fumbling over my words. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below as well as subscribe and tell us below in the comments what you actually want us to teach you about business explainer videos, about hit film, about After Effects, Premiere Pro, PowerPoint, any software, anything regarding filmmaking, anything regarding VFX, magic, things like that you want us to teach you, let us know down below in the comments and we will get to that and add it to our video list. Share it with all of your friends who are interested in this type of things and while else, leave a comment down below telling us how you enjoyed it and what you are actually creating, whether you've heard of Hit from Express before or, you know, just tell us what you're up to. Subscribe and turn the notification bell on as we are posting frequently so you can see all of our latest uploads. Hope you guys have enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one.